You know Donne, the poet John Donne. Supreme understanding of the human condition. That was twice in one day that his father had managed to shock him. His father reading and understanding poetry. Listen to this. Send me some token that my hope may live, or that my easeless thoughts may sleep and rest. Send me some honey to make sweet my hive, that in my passion I may hope the best. Yeah, swear. It's ten o'clock. Time to lock up. This would be the way to make her his. He would send her the poem. He would also suggest an assignation on the cliff top above the pounding surf. On the third bench, past the pillar box, the day after tomorrow, at 6.30. Yes, ten o'clock. Up the stairs to Bedfordshire. Up the stairs to Bedfordshire. What shall we do tomorrow? I dreamt about him again last night. Dennis? Yes. He was singing to me. You have got it bad. I couldn't make out the words, but he seemed to sort of float off the stage and come right up to me. He called me his goddess. You? A goddess? <laughs> <laughs> God, you better start clearing. We close in five minutes. Goddess? She doesn't look like a goddess, he thought. But what do goddesses look like? Goddess. 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 Excuse me, love. Mind if I clear? No, I finished. She smelled like flowers. Not like his father's greenhouse, but like the fresh flowers in the vicar's garden. We close in a few minutes, sweetheart. Here's your bill. Thank you. Refreshed by those victuals, he knew he had to wind his way homewards. He had to make something happen. He knew one couldn't write an autobiographical novel unless something happened. OK, sweetheart. Sweetheart. Carmichael has a sweetheart. The girl with red pigtails. She kissed him last Christmas under the mistletoe. Uh, so he said. He said this holiday he's going to kiss her again, without the mistletoe. But he can't. Not with mumps. Ice is in fullers, eh? Mind you, if you'd come up to London with me, you'd have hated it. Spend most of the time jumping from cab to cab. When we could find one. Exquisite, isn't it? Cypripedium. Lady's slipper. Orchids must be the most perfect of flowers. They're certainly the perfect hobby. Stamps, golf and orchids. If ever you want to win a woman's heart, and one day you will, present her with an orchid. Mark my words. Oh, you can buy her chocolates, or send her roses, or even write poetry to her. But nothing can compare with an orchid. He was aware of a sense of shock. How could a man as old as his father know anything about winning a woman's heart? Mark my words. And yet... And yet... 
Plenty of warmth and no drafts. That's what orchids like. Well, that's that then for today. I'm off for a round of golf. See you at dinner. Mrs. Price is making us a summer pudding. And then I shan't be late, that's for sure. Uh, don't forget to close the door behind you. No drafts. He made up his mind. He had to do it. His sparkling eyes searched for the choicest bloom. He flung wide the door of Fuller's tea shop. 